on with something touch this physical position let's see a few examples here are a few examples number one Eid is Desh us to handle things now Eid is is it uh, touch physical position imaginative motion or movement definitely it's imaginative so here the correct word would be E is upon us. This will be the correct word. See, once day time. Oh, this this phrase everybody knows it. Once upon a time. So again, upon is correct word. Number third sentence: The cat jumps that tail. Now jumps when something moves. Definitely. So here the correct word would be the on to. The cat jumps on to the table. Number four, what is written? Dash the wall. So something written dash wall wall. So here it would the correct one would be on the wall. In this way, the more you have to do the practice at your home. Well, on we can use when there's something physical position touch upon. We can always use upon when there will be imaginative things. On to is used when something is movement or in motion. Let's see another few. We are having another few few words. The meaning would be the same, but the use of them will be a bit different. Under. When we talk about under, we talk about the three-dimensional objects, like you know the chair, table, three-dimensional objects. Not in touch means something should not touch it. Under situation or condition means we can use under when we talk about the situation or the condition. When we talk about the age number, we can also we consider as age number. Then we can also use under. Where we can use below, below can be used not fully touch. We can use below when we talk about price. When we talk about value or dignity, we use below. And then we can also talk about temperature. We have to use below. See. Underneath and beneath have the same meaning. Means at the place of underneath or beneath, you can use either of them. Both could be the correct one. It means also fully touched or layers. Now, keeping these meanings in your mind, we have to attain few sentences and put the right word at the right place. Examples: Number one sentence, they are they straight underneath. Both could be the correct one. Beneath water. Are underneath water or a calm. Number third, your house is dash the tree. Yes, the correct would be beneath the tree. Beneath the tree would be the correct one, not under the tree. Number four, he is dash average student in class. Oh, dash average. Average means we are talking about the value to get here. Below average student in class. The temperature is dash zero again below zero. So here, when we talk about the temperature, we can use below. Let's move to the difference of two more words. The difference between by and with. Again, by can be used when we talk about the communication. When we talk about the transport, we use by. By also can be used when we used in passive sentences. For example, here with with is there, with can be used with the together, with something tools or some body parts or abstract nouns. Means with can be used when we talk about any tool, means some body parts or we can talk about some abstract nouns. Now keeping these meanings in our mind, what are the sentence will come in front of you? You who can easily understand whether I should use by here or I should use with here. Let's see. Number one sentence is he cut his birthday cake. Dash a knife. Again, a knife is a tool. So here with a knife. With a knife is a correct word. See in the sentence, he killed a bird. Dash a stone. Now stone again the tool is used. So with a stone. With is the correct one. For example, he third sentence, he went 
he went to Islamabad. He went to Islamabad by train. So here would be by train. When we talk about communication, we talk about transport, we talk about uh, person. If the sentence is in passive sentence, we can use by. And when we use any kind of a tool, we have to use will. These are the differences. Again, you have to read more and more books to understand in a better way. So far, so good. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum, my dear viewers. Welcome to Mr. Bugyo's English Grammarian YouTube Academy. My viewers, we have started a topic that is a preposition. And preposition is not that much easy topic. You have to read more and more books to understand the preposition, the right use of the preposition. But again, there are certain rules we have to follow. We have completed one part of it. Those who have not watched my previous videos, I will request them to subscribe my channel, click the bell icon, like it, comment on it, and share with your friends. The more you share, the many students will learn it, the more they learn it. Well, uh, my dear friends, in first part, we have uh, talked about the confusing and the misuse preposition, and that series is still continuing. Today, few words which are being misused and confused words in preposition. Majority of the students make mistakes. Let's today understand that. The difference between on, upon, or on to. So, all these words having the similar meaning, but their use is quite different. On, upon, and on to. We have to understand it. When we talk about on, means something touches. Or such as means physically position when we need. For example, this marker is on my palm. So here something is touching. When we talk about a palm, means we are talking about imagination, some imaginative things. When we talk about on to means something in movement or in motion. On to Motion, movement, upon imaginative things, on means something touch, means physical position. Let's see a few examples. Here are a few examples. Number one, Eid is beige us to handle things. Now, Eid is, is it uh, touch, physical position, imaginative, motion or movement? Definitely it's imaginative. So here, the correct word would be E is upon us. This will be the correct word. See, once day time. Oh, this, this phrase, everybody knows it. Once upon a time. So again, upon is correct word. Now the third sentence, the kid jumps that pill. Now jumps when something moves, definitely. So here, the correct word would be the on to. The kid jumps onto the table. Number four, what is written? Dash the wall. So something written dash wall wall. So here it would the correct one would be on the wall. In this way, the more you have to do the practice at your home. Well, on we can use when there's something physical position touch upon. We can always use upon when there will be imaginative things. On to is used when something is movement or in motion. Let's see another pair. We are having another few few words. The meaning would be the same, but the use of them will be a bit different. Under. When we talk about under, we talk about the three-dimensional objects, like you know the chair, table, three-dimensional objects. Not in touch means something should not touch it. Under situation or condition means we can use under when we talk about the situation or the condition. When we talk about the age number, we can also we consider as age number, then we can also use under. Where we can use below? Below can be used not fully touch. We can use below when we talk about price. When we talk about value or dignity, we use below. 
and then we can also talk about temperature we have to use below see underneath and beneath have the same meaning means at the place of underneath or beneath you can use either of them both could be the correct one it means also fully touched or layers now keeping these meanings in your mind we have to attain few sentences and put the right word at the right place examples number one sentence they are beige stress now they are address stress so stress when they are what should be here the correct would be they are under stress so under stress shows their condition or the situation dash water all are calm so here beneath would be the correct one or underneath both could be the correct one beneath water or underneath water all are calm number third your house is dash the tree yes the correct would be beneath the tree beneath the tree would be the correct one not under the tree number four he is dash average student in class oh dash average average means we are talking about the value to get here below average student in class the temperature is dash zero again below zero so here when we talk about the temperature we can use below let's move to the difference of two more words the difference between by and with again by can be used when we talk about the communication when we talk about the transport we use by by also can be used when we use in passive sentences for example here with with is there with can be used with the together with something tools or some body parts or abstract nouns means with can be used when we talk about any tool means some body parts or we can talk about some abstract nouns now keeping these meanings in our mind what are the sentences will come in front of you you who can easily understand whether i should use by here or i should use with here let's see number one sentence is he cut his birthday cake dash a knife again a knife is a tool so here with a knife with a knife is a correct word see in the sentence he killed a bird dash a stone not a stone again the tool is used so with a stone with is a correct one for example he third sentence he went he went to islamabad he went to islamabad dash train so here would be by train when we talk about communication we talk about transport we talk about uh, person if the sentence is in passive sentence we can use by and when we use any kind of the tool we have to use with these are the differences again you have to read more and more books to understand in a better way so far so good thank you very much